Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Zundu and today we are looking at my everyday makeup drawers. So I've changed this to monthly, which has actually been really nice because I haven't felt this pressure to use my makeup a lot in two weeks. Because in two weeks, you don't actually wear that much. So we're gonna go through and show you a couple of things that I finished, things that I had taken out and forgot to put back and didn't use. So let's get into it. Now I had fragrances. Um, I wanted to, this year I wanna start um, finishing up some fragrances. And this is from Carez. This is the Black Pepper Cashmere and Lemon Wood. They've since changed it to call being called just Black Pepper, but it's the exact same thing. Um, and I have about half a centimeter left, which is, I don't know what that is in American terms, but it's a very small amount. I have about this much left. So I'm gonna keep it there. And I'm definitely gonna finish it this month. And I had all of these little minis in here. And I actually finished all of them bar one. So I haven't finished this more, which is like a candle company, I think. Um, this one's called Rose Noir. I just don't really like it that much. But I've got a third to go. So I will finish that. I'm gonna keep it there. Then I finished um, Wilhelm Perfumery Morning Chess, which is grassy it's beautiful i finished that i finished the n other wd which is woody loved it and then i also finished another another <laughs> this one is the fr which i believe is fruity and i love that too so what i'm going to do i've already set aside some that i'm going to replace it with when we get into that part but everything has lost its order basically <laughs> I finished this um, Milani Prime Perfection, so that's gonna go in my empties, my TerraCycle. So we have finished a few things. These are all my samples. Um, I went to use this Shantakai Sheer Bronze Face Tint yesterday, and it's dried up. So I will still like mix it in with my sunscreen because it's a luxurious product. Um, Okay, let's just go into it. My NARS, um, this is the translucent crystal loose setting powder. I'm gonna put this back and pick out a different one. I really like it though. So we had the Rose Ink in 16, the um, Flower Beauty Mix and Matte, the Lime Crime in Wicked, and the Vive in 90s. I used all but this one. I didn't use this one just cause it's a liquid lip. I didn't go anywhere. I might keep it in because I wore this red, I love this one, and I wore all of these at least two or three times. So I did get good use out of that, so they'll go back. My Melt Highlighter I, I used, this is the Pink Moon, really pretty, I do wish I used it more than I did, but I definitely used it. Um, my Ulta 3 Contour Goals Palette, I really enjoyed using this, I just love it. Um, I'm starting to get some dents in it. Do I keep it in? It is summertime. I might keep, mm, no, Sam, mix it up. Although, no, I've got to mix it up. I'm only, I'm, I'm doing it monthly now. I did break the packaging though, which is very annoying because it's a cream product. Um, I use this, this is new to me, the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek in Peach Crush. I used this a few times, I quite enjoyed it. Um, but I will put that back. Uh, my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray I really liked. I'm going to put that back and pick a new one. I did not use that. I'm going to leave it in. I just want to get some use out of it. And then I've also got, look at all these samples. The um, Western Atelier Baby Cheeks in the shade Mimi. I forgot. This was in my, I used this in a video and I put it back instead of putting it in the drawer. So I barely used it. But I'm gonna put it back because it's more of a winter shade. I did get a new sample. Otherwise these are all, no, I got a couple new. Well, this one's new, this one's new. I got the By Terry CC Serum in the new shade Nude Glow. So far I like it. I really like the shade. Um, it's a very nice neutral, leaning cool. I got the Shantakai Rose Face Tint. These are all new products at Mecca, so I took little samples. So it's like the bronze tint, except in a pink. It's very pretty, very pretty. 
So we've got that. I haven't used these yet. Oh, I've used the CC Serum. And then I bought the Stay Naked um, foundation from Urban Decay because I'm oily now. This did not work for me when I was dry. I used to have dry skin, now I have oily. I, I don't know, my son changed my hormones. So I'm going to show you 31NN uh, because I'm in summer right now. And um, I thought I'd give it a go because my skin type has changed. And a lot of my foundations catered to dry skin. Um, and then my second drawer... Why is this in here? Oh, gosh. I didn't even know that's there. I might put some on now. Oh, I've got a couple of products in here that just stay in here. Yeah, lip balm, my under eye base from Bobbi Brown, and my color corrector. Okay, my two blushes from RMS I got good use out of. I've got French Rosé and Hanky Panky. I used to take photos. I haven't taken photos. I need to get back in the rhythm of it. I've been really slack. But those I love. Um, I really enjoyed this because it's summertime. Moira Sunflower Beauty. It is a duo of red and yellow. Mix them together. You can make it more yellow, make it more red. Really love it. It's a drier formula. It's not like the best formula, but it always looks so pretty when I wear it. Um, I really enjoyed my RMS uncover up in zero zero i've had this for a long time i want to eventually pan it this year um this is a really good product i use this when i'm not really wearing makeup my rose ink today i wore these two my rose ink tinted serum i have the shade 20 i love this it's very sheer but it definitely evens your skin tone and i paired it with this as a concealer so they're going to go back. Um, I can't even remember if I had this in. I, I actually think I've just added that in. Um, I don't even think I used it, <laughs> if I'm honest. So I'll put that back. My RMS Beauty, I didn't even, I don't, I think I used it once. I was using my testers. Like, did I finish the Hourglass one? No, I've still got one more use in it. These little pots, um, a lot can fit in it. If you're not Australian, they're little sample pots from Mecca, which is like Sephora. Um, so the RMS Beauty uh, Revolve Natural Finish Foundation. I'll put it back. I'll put it back. I need to refresh. My Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter I used a few times. I'll put it back. My Charlotte Tilbury Color of Dreams, the cheek, lip and cheek. Uh, I don't think I used it. It's just not the right time. It's not summery. Um, and then I've just added this in now. It wasn't there before, so that'll be there. It's just like a um, mascara to use, Smoky Eye Mascara from Bobbi Brown. I just got it and I opened it, so I want to use it. Um, the Hourglass Caution, I will... No, this is unlocked. I will keep because it's a tubing. I like to have one of each. The Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken, I used it. The same way I use the RMS, very light coverage um, makeup days. And then my eye spy. I don't need both of these. I actually want to, I'm almost finished my day eye cream. I'm going to switch it out with this one. So I'm going to take that out and put it in my skincare in my bathroom. And then we have my eyeshadows. So let's do the palettes. My Neely Natural from Glaminatrix. I didn't use it as much as I wanted to. I didn't. I did use it, but not in the capacity I wanted to. Like looking at it like that is just wildly gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to put it back because I've got other ones I want to use. But I use this. Oh, I love these shade mattes. They're just beautiful. Um, so I enjoyed using that. And my New by Nature, I think I used a couple of times. She's solid. Loved it. Silent Night, I had this for Christmas time. I think I only used it once or twice, but I just love it. This is from Glaminatrix, limited edition. Um, so I'm gonna pop her back. My two Mecca Max, this is the um, Disco Friends, love it. I think I wore this twice. And then the Sunset Squad, I think I might've worn this twice as well. Everything I use just like a few times. I do use single shadows more frequently because I don't always do a full eye look. But I do when I go to work. And then the NARS Summer Unrated. Didn't use that as much as I wanted to, but I did use it. 
The lighting is horrific. I'm so sorry. So I really, really love that. I definitely, I think I wore this. I think I actually wore it in a video. This is the Moira Lucent Cream Shadow in Supernova. I want to get more of these. I want to get the neutral shades. Uh, Sephora Colorful Metal Effect in Shock Chalk. It's becoming a favorite. I love it. And then the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in Honey. And I did, I used all of these. I did. So I'm going to put everything away and we're going to pick out new things. I wanted to show you my makeup bag that I put in my purse because I've just updated it. Okay. So I got this in holiday last year with a highlighter and a brush. And it's a really cute pouch. It's double sided, but they don't meet. So on one side I have some ibuprofen and a mirror from Odin's Eye. And then I have two perfumes. I have, I'll always have a mini one that I'm trying to finish. Uh, this is West from Ellis Brooklyn. It's very fresh. And then Malin and Gets Dark Rum, which is one of my absolute favorites. This is an oil. Um, I also have the perfume bottle. It's one of my favorites. I bought this at Holiday. I think it was like $70 for two and I got leather as well. And I think these go for about 50 each. So it was a really good, good price. So that's in there and then you flip it and I've got makeup. And you can't buy this by the way, it was in a holiday set. So I've got my Bobbi Brown concealer stick and then it's just gonna be lipstick. I don't really have anything else. So, this is in my Project Pan Astralis Girl Boss in the shade Me. Um, the Beauty Bay Lip Gloss in the shade Candy. I really like this. It smells like vanilla. It smells like the MAC lipsticks. Um, my Shantakai in Love. And then a really warm toned lip gloss. It's mainly lip gloss that I reapply through the day in Dashing. So that's all of that I wanted to show you. Now let's go into my makeup drawers. Okay, here we have all my powders, setting sprays, and primers. Let's pick a powder. Now, I'm very oily at the moment, like very oily. So I need something intense. I reckon Nikia. I reckon Nikia is the one for the next month of January. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder. And I think this is the time. This is the oil control priming mist. I'm gonna put this in. I can use this before and after makeup. So let's put that in. That might be good. Let's do the Revlon, Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. So I might get the Laura Mercier uh, Blurring Primer as well. This is a mini version. Medium to full coverage, light to medium foundation. We have concealer and then face palettes. I actually think I want to put this in. I got this from Aldi. This is the La Cura Summer Touch BB Cream. I have the shade light. I think there was only light and medium. I only used it once on camera. And I think this is going to be good now. I accidentally got a little bit of color, not intentionally. Um, and I think this will be suitable for that. So let's pick something from over here. The L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I have the shade 1N. I think that'll be okay. If not, this one is darker, which I'm gonna put, oh, I don't know. Let me just do a quick swatch on my face. That, this looks too light. I'm gonna put in the Infallible Fresh Wear because the other one is too light for me at the moment. It's just that little bit darker. Let's put in the um, Nude Sticks Cream Concealer in the shade Nude One. This is really nice light coverage. And my Project Pan is full coverage, so I'm not bothered by full coverage. I'm really trying to finish this. I keep putting it in. Cause you can't click it back down. I never know when it's gonna actually end. This is the By Terry Stylo Expert in the shade one. So these are both good shades for me at the moment. It's not like I dramatically change color, but I'm not super fair like I am in winter. Face palette. I don't know. Oh, I just want all the face palettes. I could do that. Mm. No, 
my project pan has an orgasm oh my god i cannot decide this is new to me i could pop her in that could be nice okay it's either this one or this one guys help me pick summertime maybe we could go this one yeah let's do it let's go natasha we'll be next time we all get a turn okay let's put this one in blushes will not be a feature because we do i mean i'm definitely going to pick them but i've got they're not really blushy though they're quite sheer they're more blush topper mm, okay all right let's go with a bronzer i want maybe this one maybe this one let's have a look at what we've got this is new Melanie sent me this. This is stunning. I think I'm going to say no for this round because this could be a nice. You know what? My project pan are both matte bronzers. So I'm going to pick Nabla. This is called Skin Bronzing in Umbra because it's got a nice glow to it. So that is the deciding factor. Blush. We're doing powders first. This blush I want to put in. Yes. The Sephora blush. The shade is Shame on You. And then I also definitely want the Vive in Pesca. It's just such a pretty orangey tone. Oh, I think I'm going to pick one more for the good times you know maybe a super neutral let's go revlon naughty nude for those times where i just want to be a naughty nude yeah love it oh i didn't even realize that the revlon blush actually has a sheen to it okay so top is sephora middle is revlon bottom is vive potential oh you are too cool toned where is so that's a potential oh bobby brown's new and that's also a potential mm, maybe i want the ultra three because yeah let's do it let's do ultra three this is really pretty it's pretty blinding though but it is it is pretty so cream product mm, we've got some new ones that i have been gifted oh i think i need this one the m cosmetic serum blush in venetian rose yes to fulfill all my burnt skin dreams it's so funny i hate getting burnt but i like emulating it you know that one's super glowy so let's go for a matte I want one of these, I think. This one's too close to Venetian Rose. Sweet Cheeks. She's fun. Let's go Sweet Cheeks because I have that burnt shade already. All of a sudden my lights decided to work, so it's probably a little bit brighter, which is great. Um, that is Sweet Cheeks, not blended out. It's not usually that intense. And should we go with these new ones? These are also new. Yeah, we can afford to use one of these. Let's go Bobbi Brown in Creamy Coral. And that is it there. Yeah, because the Pesca I have is more orange, which and that is more orange, so I don't need that one for today. All in all, very happy. I think we might do this as a cream highlighter. This is the Australis Dewy and Daring. Can't really see it, can you? But it's pretty. Take my word for it. And then bronzer. These are our bronzing options. You know what? Let's do this because it's super yellow and I'm in summer. This is the OXX Studio from Kmart Bronze Whip, which is the um, Kmart dupe. Oh, Kmart. Chanel dupe. But it's very warm. So now's the time. Now's the time to use it. I really like it. It's a really good formula. I just don't like the shade. Now I'm going to my favourite 
one which is my single eyeshadows i don't need mascara because i've already picked them i am trying to finish um this i don't like it but i bought it so i'm going to use it i'm actually going to add it in just to have it there the brow glue i'm currently trying to oh there she is that was in um last last round i'm going to put that back because we've got the nyx one now i'm actually trying to finish this closest one so i'm going to put that in so my project pan Draw. I might put this elf in just to have fun with it. This is the uh, top, but it's brow powder and wax. I did get these. These are new. Maybe I could add in a highlighter. Oh, that's pretty. Let's add this in. This bronzy tone from By Beauty Bay. It's in the shade Cushion. I'm definitely putting in Charlotte Tilbury Pop Shot. I've not used it, I've only swatched it. It's disgraceful. Let's pop her in. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think I want this um, euphoric metallic cream eyeshadow from Barry M. It's really nice. It's like a neutral copper. It's very pretty. I'm gonna pick over here. This could be nice actually. The Fenty Beauty. Because I don't use it as a highlighter. Even over that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's add that in. Let's do it. It's very yellow, but it's just so beautiful. Um, let's put this in. This is from um, By Beauty Bay as well. The shadow stick in, I think it's Dumbo, from the Disney collection. I think that could be cute as a liner. All right, that's everything from there. The chaotic lip section. It just never stops growing. I declutter and it just grows back and I just don't know how, guys. I don't know how it happens. I've got all these glosses, so I think I'm pretty set for gloss. This is new, actually. Cool. This one, I haven't even used it, T. I think I used it in a video. This could be really, really nice. I've got a lot of By Beauty Bay, don't I? That's okay. But I think that could be a really nice shade. Let's add that one in. Oh, I love this one too. I could really vibe this for summer oh be good if I put it in camera let's do that one the Colourpop slippy stick this is the shade fab it's really nice because it's soft that one there let's go like a no I've got the red I've got the lime crime red I've got a shade up could go a cool cherry mm. that could be fun I could go a dark room no, because I've got the lime crime. I haven't used these in forever too. Let's go Fiamma from Kaleidos. Yes. Absolutely. I'm going to pick one more. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of pinky tones. Maybe an orange tone, actually. I've got that one. I've got this one. I've got this one. This is my favourite. Ultra 3 Fire Breather. Yeah, let's go back into some colour. It's been a while. So, Ultra 3, the Australian brand in Fire Breather. Okay, we have Going Coconuts from Colourpop. Nice, warm and neutral all at the same time. Love it. We have 420 from Melt Cosmetics. The shimmer is atrocious, but the mattes are great. Um, I can see me doing some really nice looks with this. So we're gonna put that one in. This is brand new to me, gifted to me from my friend and subscriber, Nicole. She had a spare one of the P. Louise Stack em Up. There's so much text on here. Back yourself, I think is the shade. Beautiful warm tones. I'm really loving these two here. So I'm excited to play with that and try that formula as well. We have the Naughty Nudes from Huda Beauty, an absolute favorite and I miss her. And then for a little bit of color, we have the KVD Vegan Beauty. This is Edge of Reality. 
I really love this. It's so underrated, this palette, because you've got a bit of color, like look at this red, but then you have super neutrals as well. It's a really, really, really good palette. So I'm going to use all of those. Oh, a lot, isn't it? Okay, and then lastly, I have some more perfumes to add in. So I have this Versace Eros, Eros Pour Femme. A little bit left, I've had it for a long time and I need to finish it. So we're gonna add that in. Uh, we have Coriander, which is a really nice fresh green scent from DS and Durga, which is a niche brand that is sold at Mecca. And it is an American brand from New York. From the same brand, we have Jasmine Yucatan, which is not my favorite, but I'm trying to finish it. I've only got a, like maybe two uses left, maybe one. And then I also have from Ellis Brooklyn Sweet, also not my favorite, but it's summertime. So I thought it would be suitable to use up now. So they're just a couple of little ones that I'm trying to get through. And that is everything eyeshadows and then complexion and then color thank you so much for watching guys remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye